Dr. Tom Swetnam has spent the last 30 years studying the link between global warming and fire. This is actually his second career. He used to be a hotshot. There's one there. So let's cut it and take a look. I've been around forest and fire all my life, and uh, I appreciate fire as really a beautiful thing. But then I can see the other side of it. It can, it can be good and it can be bad. And this place, it's done bad, I'm afraid. Swetnam looks for glues buried deep inside the trees. Okay, all right, so this is the moment of truth. Each ring is a year in the tree's life, and each captures an entire year of climate history. When the tree was a young tree, small tree, it has fire that kills it right there, and then it grows around, the rings grow around until the next fire here. Over the course of his career, Swetnam has gathered the largest tree ring collection in the world, over two million of them, with samples going back 3,000 years. It becomes hard down to the level of an individual fire to say that big fire was caused because of climate change. But when you start looking at over really big areas like the whole of Western United States or all of Canada or Russia, and you see that the temperature trends are in the same way in all of the places and that they're closely coupled, the smoking gun is basically there. So getting hotter, getting drier, and the fires are just going right up along with that. 